Hello, it's me again. Today it is Loot Crate DX. I did stop this box. This box is pretty expensive. It's $49.99 with tax and shipping and everything. Comes out to 50 something. Um, I haven't been really impressed with this box. It's just not stuff that I've been wanting or needing. But I did do this box this month because they have started offering shirts in my size. And I got a code to start this box and get the free sh get a free shirt in my size. Got it. See if they fit. That was one reason I stopped doing Loot Crate was because my wife was getting all the shirts and she's got like hundreds of them now and I haven't got one because they don't make them my size for these boxes. But they've started offering that so I'm supposed to have a shirt in here. At least I hope I have a shirt in here. But who knows, they probably send that separate. Let's go ahead and break this open. I believe the theme for this month was I have no clue I'm sure we'll both find out here in a second though alright open it up this is what you see Assassin's Creed on there apparently there's some something Assassin's Creed if they're advertising it my daughter likes Assassin's Creed so I'm sure she'll get something Alright, let's start with this. It is. I don't think it's a shirt. It says Assassin's Creed on the tag here. It is. Might be a scarf. Yep, yeah, it's a scarf. I don't wear scarves. But it is Assassin's Creed, so I'm sure this will either go to my wife or my daughter they've never wore scarves either but it did snow yesterday I don't wear them because they just don't look good on me maybe if I go like this and hide my half my face I look better no. <laughs> next item is a mr. robot hat it's got wear and tear I believe this is the one kind of like what Christian Slater wears in the movie it's velcro I know his doesn't have this Mr. Robot patch on it so it's kind of feels kind of soft try it on real quick well way too much. Feels kind of small for my head, but I am a hat. Guy. I do like hats. I know people out there collect hats. I don't really collect hats unless it's either Star Wars or the Dallas Cowboys. And we'll go ahead and go with the pin. I don't see a shirt in here, so I'm hoping it's either coming separate or I didn't get one. I will have to call or not call, email support, and find out. Alright, the pin is from Mr. Robot also. And usually it says what it is. Its theme is revol Revolution. Is I'm sure this is a Loot Crate exclusive. Loot Crate DX is usually pretty good for with their exclusives. So... Go ahead and go. The next item is a, it's a Loot Crate exclusive. It's a belt buckle that says Cage. I'm sure that's from Luke Cage. Netflix show. Usually everything in this box is also licensed, which this is, of course. I don't wear belts. They just really don't help me so I wear suspenders most of the time makes me feel old or older than I should be 
nothing else is in that box it came with. Okay, here is another Assassin's Creed item. Not sure what it is. It doesn't say on the box. It does say exclusive though. It is made by Surreal. I think they make glassware. And that's exactly what it is. It is shot glasses. I know a lot of people collect shot glasses. It's like something in it. it. has the Assassin's Creed logo on it. My daughter will not be getting these because she is not old enough to even know what a shot glass is. She's only 15. I'm sure she knows what they are, but she shouldn't. Feels like it's etched in there, but they might have not have put enough paint or something in there. Something white all over it, too. I don't know if you hold it up, you can see the paint on the other side. But there's a red and black one, both with the same emblem. I know people collect these too. I used to, I don't anymore because I just don't drink. And I'm not going to take shots of Dr. Pepper. That's just kind of weird. Ooh, puppies. Okay, let's get it back in here. Alright, last item in the box is for Gears of War. It is a limited edition artist proof loot crate exclusive of DJ Phoenix. And it has bonus gear pack. He is everything with him is gray. Like he hasn't been colored because it is a artist proof before they go to get colored. They're shown colored on the back though. It's actually kind of cool. I've never played Gears of War or anything like that. I'm more of a like World of Warcraft player. I do like that though, but I wouldn't mind trading it for something that I do want. Don't know what that would be, unless you also get prints from another box that. I collect the prints from. And recap. Exclusive Gears of War Artist Proof. It is licensed by Microsoft. The pen is an exclusive, Mr. Robot. The Assassin's Creed scarf is exclusive, licensed by 20th Century Fox. The belt buckle, Luke Cage. It is also licensed by Marvel and made by Buckle Down. The shot glasses, or it says mini drinkware. I guess I can't say shot glasses in case there's kids involved, I guess. I don't know. But these are licensed by Ubisoft, I guess. And it's stamped with the Assassin's Creed logo. The hat is Mr. Robot. It is licensed by NBC. It's also an exclusive. And I think that was everything in the box. It doesn't say what's next. It has the mega crate on there. Anyway, leave a comment down below. Like, comment course subscribe I will put pricing details also in the description let me know what you guys think about this box overall this box was pretty good I know it's more of the high values or higher end stuff I like the hat the pins pretty cool you know scarf is what it is a scarf that I won't use belt buckle I won't use I see where all this stuff could be collectible and I'm sure it is by somebody just not for me out of the six items out of here I do like 
the hat, the figure, the shot glasses, that belt buckle, and everything. So out of six, I'd give this four or five crazies. So next time, till next time I should say, I'm really tired, it's been a long day. Stay crazy.